train tracks in Northampton County are fully repaired and operational now after Saturday's train collision and derailment. That is one of our top stories today. Officials tell us the diesel fuel has been vacuumed from the water, but the booms will stay there longer. The NTSB's first report is due out in the next two to three weeks. A former resident at the now burned down row homes in Whitehall is speaking out. He says when he lived there in the 80s, a fire overtook four homes on the street, including his. Officials tell us the rebuilt home had firewalls up to three floors, but the attic crawl space did not have any. The Red Cross is now helping about a dozen people who were displaced. Reading is in the process of installing its first two electric vehicle charging stations at City Hall. The city's sustainability manager says they're also working on identifying where the city is going to put public stations. We're in the middle of an active weather pattern, which will bring us several rounds of rain into the weekend. We could see some clearing late in the day with highs in the upper 40s. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates at WFMZ.com. I'm Haseel Cordoba.